What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network and I'm bringing you my actual first ever live narration on my 3DS. I guess there's no real difference between that and Showdown other than the layout and the format and the way it looks, but I figured I might as well get into it since a lot of other people are and I, I think it's going to be interesting. This is pretty much my first time, man. I'm a little bit nervous. And another thing that you may just notice is that we are suddenly in um, 24 frames a second, cinematic style, 1080p, you know, aspect bars, and you're probably wondering what the hell is this? I have no fucking idea. I just do it, okay? I, I have literally no idea why I wanted to do it, but I just wanted to try it out and see how it looks. So if you do like this look, definitely let me know. I did it a lot in the past in my Wi-Fi battles, but um, we're not going to waste any time, man. We have a damn good game today, and uh, it was it was my first game, you know, it was first game like doing it live, that is. But um, let's see how it turns out, man. Let's get into this battle. All right, so we found us a Wi-Fi battle. Now um, let's take a look at this guy's team. He's got um, poly. Okay, it's definitely a rain team, but that's pretty obvious on the surface. And considering that it is a rain team, I'm probably going to have to keep my superior alive because that, those Quagsires can be threatening in the rain, especially since that they they pretty much negate the boost that Barbarical has. That'll be an issue. So we probably want to start off with somebody like um, maybe my superior or my Escavalier. I'm seeing that as being the best option at the moment. Yeah, let's start out with Superior, even though he might just go out there with his Politoed, but if we lose Superior, we'll have pretty much almost no way to get that um, Quagsire. We also need to keep um, Metagross alive, too. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a very difficult match because I'm going to have to keep pretty much Superior alive the whole game. And let's not even talk about that Dragonite, because that's going to be an issue in itself, too. So, let's get into this, man. Okay, six Pokemon answered, and let's go. I'm sorry if like there's something a little bit off with my narration today or anything like that, but this is pretty much my first time doing um, live Wi-Fi, and it's significantly more difficult than pulling off live showdowns, but I, I think it's still doable. It's not that much more difficult, I guess, but it, it definitely presents a little bit of a challenge. Um, let's, let's try it out. Oh, okay, the audio is good. Alright, let's see what we got here. All right, now I'm thinking, most likely, he's most likely got the Ice Beam, of course. He probably wants to go for some Toxic Spikes, though, so let's taunt him, just to make sure none of that crazy shit happens. I don't like the fact that he came in there first, because that kind of shows me that he might just be entry hazard. All right, good move, good move. Now, one thing I want to do is paralyze this bitch. We got to make sure he's slowed down so that Metagross can come in and hit this guy with a... Um, with the Zen Headbutt, that'll KO him easy. I just hope this guy doesn't have Ice Beam, you know what I mean? Or a Poison Move. He might just have a Poison Move like Sludge Bomb, but I should be able to live at least one. Alright, Skull. I can take the Skull, no problem. As long as I don't get burned, that might just happen though. Okay, no. Thank God! <laughs> Alright, so now that we have the Tentacle paralyzed, the next move should be to threaten it out, but I don't want to just send Metagross in and risk the potential burn from the Skull. Although I am feeling ballsy today. So I guess this, the, the decider in this match will be who puts their balls in the line at the right moment. Um, right now, we pretty much have like nothing to switch into. We're going to have to threaten this Metagross. We're going we're gonna to have to threaten this Tentacruel out some way. I don't like that he's going to have um, residual recovery. So let's knock off his Black Sludge or his Leftovers, depending on what he's got, to ensure that he doesn't have anything to heal up on. No Black Sludge. He's paralyzed. It's great. And he's got the taunt still. Let's put that taunt back on him because I don't want this guy setting up shit right now. Nah, none of that. I'm so, well, I mean, it's a good thing I got leftovers on the superior, man. Going for another scald, man. Where's my leftovers on my superior? Don't I have leftovers on superior? Oh, no, I have a lumberry on this superior set. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um... Even though I would have liked that residual recovery, because it would really help me in there with this Tentacruel, but if I do get burned, at least I won't, you know, get killed. So okay, let's go for a Leaf Storm. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, boy. Rapid Spin? What the? Okay, well, I didn't set up, but, but that's fine. I'm thinking about switching Metagross in, to be honest with you. I'm thinking about switching Metagross in. Although I know if I go for the freaking um, Zen Headbutt, he most likely might go into his Ferrothorn. Uh, man. This is a tough one. This is, a, this is definitely a tough one. Um, 
Let's see, let's see. Should I go into my Metagross? Or should I, let me see. I really want to threaten this Tentacruel out, man. I'm tired of this thing. Is he still taunted? Yeah, I think he's still taunted. Let's just go for another Leaf Storm, man. Let's, let's go for another Leaf Storm. He might just get the burn on me, but it's fine. You know, it's totally fine. As long as, as long as I keep Superior alive for later on with Quagsire, then the burn doesn't bother me too much. No burn yet. Please, no burn yet. Okay, no burn yet. Um, we're gonna keep <laughs> Stop. This shit is going nowhere. Fuck. Okay, um, let's just, just taunt him again. Don't let him set up. Do not let him set up. I want him to switch. Thank you. Good God, man. I don't want to lose Superior, man. I really don't. But now he's got his Politoed in there, and this thing is going to be doing damage. Especially if he's Choice Specs. Those things are a problem. Those things are a problem. Okay, so we've got this guy taunted. That doesn't really mean shit, though. I'm thinking, what can we do here, man? What can we do here? Let's go into my um, Escavalier. It's a specially defensive set, so it should be able to take them hits relatively well. Let's get out of there, man. Man, if this was a superior with Contrary, but then again, a superior had Contrary, that thing would be on everybody's team. Another Skull! Great! Oh, God! Keep bur trying to burn me! Whew! Okay. Okay, I'm seeing this as ample opportunity for him to bring in his Tentacruel. He wants to probably, he wants to probably do something with his Tentacruel. So you know what? Let's go for. Should we go for a Sword Dance? Maybe predicting his Tentacruel to come in, so this way we can just KO that thing with like a knockoff or something. Oh man, I don't know. I don't have any Poison Pokemon on my team to come in and absorb those Toxic Spikes. Although Metagross doesn't really mind the Toxic Spikes, but. My Barbarical will. That's a guaranteed fact. Let's go in there with Superior again. We can threaten him out. We can threaten him out again with Superior. Although Superior is taking really unnecessary damage. But I don't want him to come in with Tentacruel and set up, man. That is my intention at the moment. I don't want him to set up shit. Alright, so... He's just gonna keep going for the Skull. He's aiming for the burn, man! Critical hit and the burn! Thank God I got the Lumberry! We can't lose Superior, man. We can't lose Superior. If you lose Superior, this game is pretty much in the bag. And I don't think one Leaf Storm will be able to kill the Politoed. I don't think it will. I haven't experimented with that yet. Uh, damn, this is so tough. Mm. No, Superior is too important. Superior, you are far too important to get lost right now. Escavalier is expendable. Superior is not. I shouldn't have switched it in on that damn Politoed. <sighs> yeah, we... This is... Okay, we're back in there with Escavalier. He's doing something else for some reason. Dragon right. Okay, alright. He can't have a fire move if he's running a rain team, so I don't have to worry about that. You know what? Let's hit this guy with a knockoff just to ensure nothing crazy happens. Maybe we should hit him with a Toxic. Let's hit him with a Toxic. Because we have priority, man. Hurricane. Thank God I'm especially defensive. I'll be able to take this. Toxic. Good. Good move. Okay. Even though he's not going to be slowed down, but that's A-OK -okay with me. That's fine. And now that the rain is gone, this guy is not going to have you no know, freaking Dragonite running around. It's probably special Dragonite, most likely. I don't know, I mean, would he be a crazy motherfucker and carry the damn fire punch in a rain team? Nah, I don't think he'd do something crazy like that. Um, damn man, this is tough. This is a tough one. Knock off, fuck it! Knock off his eye. <laughs> oh, I was hoping he'd miss. Please don't get the crit. Knock off, yes, very good. Okay, this is going to be... This is too much for me, man. This is too much for my heart right now. Oh, man. I got a bank on him missing that second... Do we need a Scavalier for anything anymore? I don't think we need a Scavalier for anything. Except for that Politoed. Um, Scavalier will be able to take hits in the Politoed. I think he'll be able to take one more. Maybe one more? I don't know. I'm not sure. 
This guy doesn't really seem like he has too many physical threats on his team. I thought the I thought the Dragonite would be physical, but it's not. It's not physical. It's freaking special. So he's got Politoed, which is special. Quagsire, which is kind of defensive, so it doesn't really matter what it is. Ferrothorn. Dragonite, which is special. Tentacruel, which is special. And Mega Venusaur, which is special. What the fuck? I'm gonna have to play really, really careful. Let's go for an Iron Head. It'll do some extra damage. Oh, he's got Roost! Oh, great, great. Iron Head, this bitch. Fuck it, he, he won't be able to stay in there forever. He doesn't have Fire Blast, that's confirmed, so... Maybe I can switch in there with Metagross. You know what? Metagross just might be the better option here. Metagross just might be the better option. I just hope he doesn't catch me with something crazy. Metagross, it's time. You gotta know when to make risk in battle, you know? You have to know when to put your cards on the table and when to hold your hand. Right now, this battle is going to go nowhere quick if I just play safe all the time. I gotta go, I gotta make a crazy move. Just go in there, Metagross. Hit this guy with a fucking ice punch or something. Maybe I should go for my Stealth Rocks right now. But no, he's got the um, Tentacruel, so why do that? If I was him, I've got this freaking Metagross in there. He's probably thinking he could stall me out, maybe. Or maybe he thinks I have the Ice Punch. It's really tough to know at the moment. It's really, really tough to know. I'm probably gonna have to just freaking go for the... Damn. This is gonna be tough, man. Go for the Ice Punch or go for the Bullet Punch? Maybe I should go for the Bullet Punch. Yeah. <sighs> Stealth Rock, maybe? <laughs> oh, man. Fucking... It'll be really nice to have residual damage on this guy. You know what? Yeah, I'm just seeing this as an opportunity to go for the Zen Headbutt because he might switch Tentacruel back in. Yeah, Zen Headbutt, fuck it. Bring your Tentacruel in, bitch. Oh, Ferrothorn! I should have seen that coming. Now he's gonna set up. But this is great though. This actually gives me an opportunity to go in there with my Houndoom. And I'll be able to get his Tentacruel with no problem. Although he's probably gonna get rocks up on me, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, um, let's go into Tentacruel. No, let's go into my Houndoom, if anything. Houndoom will be able to threaten this thing out right away. And I need to come in so I don't take that rocks damage, because he's he's gonna set up his rocks. I know that much. Unless he goes for a Leech Seed, which would be kind of weird, but... Wait, if I go into Houndoom, he's probably gonna go for his Politoed. But you know what? Politoed, let's see if it can take two Dark Pulses from Mega Houndoom. Because I'm gonna go for the Dark Pulse right now. I'm not playing around here. I'm not playing around here, baby. Um, yeah, Dark Pulse, fuck it. Okay, he withdrew Ferrothorn. I figured that would happen, because, you know, the obvious switching to Politoed is obvious, so... Hopefully, two Dark Pulses will be able to deal some nice damage to this guy. I'm hoping they'll be able to. Come on, that's Stab... That's Stab Dark Pulse from a Mega Houndoom, man, with so much special attack. That should do over 50%. That's gotta do over 50%, man. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> No! Not enough damage! Shit! Shit, 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 Okay, okay. This isn't good. This isn't good, but... You know, we may just have... Oh, we may just have an answer. Let's just... Okay, let me see here. Got, um... This guy, he's going to... This is going to be so freaking tough to pull off, man. Oh, okay, um... Because I wrote down his, po his team over here, because, you know, I mean, I need to keep my eye on it. At this point, I gotta give up my, um, I gotta give up my Scavalier. It's not really gonna be useful for me anymore. It's really not going to be, so I might as well just give up the Scavalier right here. And then that way I can come up with maybe my bar bar um, my Barbarical and then set up in this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I got no other option, man. I gotta go into my Scavalier. Fuck it, let's go. Go in there and take that hit, man, because I can't lose Mega Houndoom at this point. I can't. I can't believe the freaking... 
Damn. And he's, he got his rocks up too. Shit. Superior is so important. I can't just go in there with Superior right now. Or can I? With the rocks? Superior can't switch in more than two times anymore. Damn, and he's got the rocks up, so now I can't even go in there with my, um, my freaking, um, I can't even go in there now with my freaking, um, what the hell is this thing's name? Um, I can't go in there with Barbarical. Because he'll, he's gonna know I've, he's gonna break the focus apps most likely. Um, okay, okay. Let's just go in there with, uh, You know what, let's go in there, Barbarical. I mean, I'm gonna take a lot of damage from the freaking Skull, but... No, let's go in there with my Furfro. Fuck it, Furfro, you're gonna have to put some work in. You're gonna have to put some work in, Furfro. Although he's got nobody physical on his side. Every single one of his Pokemon hits on the special side, and that is freaking irritating. Mm. Go for the freaking Toxic on this thing, man. Just go for the Toxic. I got no other choice, man. I gotta go in there for a Yeah, look how much damage that fucking did. Damn, man. I mean, poison. Ah, oh, man. I gotta, I gotta stall that poison out, man. I gotta stall that shit out. I gotta stall that shit out. Damn, this is a tough fucking battle. Oh uh, man, all right, let's just go for a Thunder Wave just in case he wants to come in with something else. Okay, he came in with something else, great. Ferrothorn. What's this guy got, spikes? The rain is still going, yo? God damn! Give me a break! <laughs> Give me a break! You know what? Should I go in there with my, bar my um, Barbarical now? If I go in there with my Barbarical now, I could possibly get off a, a dick break on something. He's probably gonna try to go for his spikes now. That's what I'm saying. Maybe I should just go into my Barbarical. Or is he gonna go for the Power Whip or something? Maybe he's gonna go for the Leech Seed or something. Oh man, this is such a risky move. <laughs> Fucking go with Barbarical. I'm closing my eyes on this one. I'm closing my eyes on this one. Go, Cena. Just go. Go. I can't look. I can't look. Just fucking go. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Power whip? Spikes. Ugh. Okay. Alright. That's not too bad. The rain finally fucking stopped. Jesus Christ. Fucking hit this thing with the dick break. It should be able to do a lot of damage. I don't think it's gonna kill him, maybe, but it should be able to do a lot of damage, you know what I mean? Hopefully the paralysis can help me <laughs> Damn, it didn't KO him. Nowhere near it. Nowhere near the KO. Nowhere near that KO, man. Rocky Helmet. Oh! The Parallax comes through for your boy! It comes through for your boy! Let's go! Oh, man, all right. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh man, okay, this is a crazy opportunity right here. Should I just go for the Shell Smash, predicting him to switch out? Maybe I should go for the Shell Smash, predicting him to switch out. He's probably gonna go into his Mega Venusaur at this point. He's probably gonna go into his Venusaur. I can see that happening, man. I can see it, I can smell it happening right now. It's so obvious. He doesn't want to lose Farrow Thorn like that. Or maybe he does. <laughs> Fuck it, go for another Brick Break. Okay, he's playing it real, real safe with his Farrowthorn. Quaggy. I wonder what ability this guy has. Does he have Unaware, or does he have Water Absorb? Because if he has Unaware, this could be a great opportunity for me to set up in his face. No, wait, no, no. This, then that means I can hit him with new Water Moves. He has unaware, that would be great because that means water moves will hit him. He doesn't have water absorb. Fuck it, razor shell, bitch. Or should I set up? I can't switch my barrack a lot at this point, so I might as well just set up. 
This is a tough fucking battle, man. <laughs> um, fucking razor shell, bitch. He's probably got unaware. Okay, good, good. Oh, we got the defense drop. Let's go. We real now. I'll be able to live that earthquake. I'll be able to live that. Come on, Shanty. Shanty. That was just an earthquake from a freaking Shanty. All right. All right. Oh man. <laughs> um. Damn, man. I got the defense drop. I did get the defense drop. Fuck it. Let's go in there and Metagross. <laughs> Fuck it. Go in there and Metagross. Fuck it. Just throw it to the wind. Throw it to the fucking wind. Just go in there. Go for the Zen headbutt. I should be faster, I hope. Is Metagross faster than Quagsire? I have no idea under the face of the sun. But, fuck it. Zen headbutt. Oh, he withdrew? Okay. Ferrothorn? Okay. That's fine. I can fuck with that. He avoided it! But then again, Metagross is gonna die if I switch back in another time. So you know what? Just go for the Zen headbutt again. Maybe I can get the power points on him. If he hadn't avoided it, that would have been great! Man, oh man. This <laughs> shit is fucking up. <laughs> oh man. Okay, at least I got the flinch. Great for me. Great for me. Um, let's go in there with Mega Houndoom now. Oh man, fuck it. At this point, I got no other choice, man. Mega Hounds gonna go in there, man. This rain team is really just damn. All special attackers, pretty much. Well, well, the Quagsire must be. He, the Quagsire must have some investment in regular attack because he did a lot of damage to freaking Barbarical. And Barbarical has defense, a lot of it. I did not expect that one bit. Let's just go for the freaking um, Dark Pulse on this guy. Yeah, Dark Pulse, fuck it. I mean, hey, hit something. Damn, because we lost Metagross, who's pretty much going to be the only counter for Venusaur, so that sucks. The rain was lasting so long, man. Damp Rock! Fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, Damp Rock! Man. Man. And here comes that rain again. God damn it. God damn it indeed. Alright, Dark Pulse. Just go for it, man. Maybe we can get a flinch. Gods love me today. <laughs> the hacks gods love your boy today. Oh shit. <laughs> this is getting serious. Oh man, this is fucking crazy. Go for another dark pulse. Fuck it. Go for another dark pulse. Hey, fuck it. If people are using Togekiss for Serene Grace, Air Slash, and getting hacks off of that, then why the hell not? <laughs> oh man. Damn, man. I don't know what they're talking about. Rain teams aren't relevant no more. Nah, these rain teams are still a problem. Especially combining them with big bulky threats like Mega Venusaur. The problem that my team had with this team is that I had too little for it, you know? Like, Superior was the only answer for Quagsire, for, for, for Politoed, and yet maybe I should have been more risky with my moves. Maybe I should have stayed in on the... Maybe I should have stayed in, you know? I was playing really, really safe. I won't be able to switch out and switch back in and get damage on this guy. Now at this point, I gotta just go straight for the Dark Pulses. Fuck it. Oh man. Lucifer, Dark Pulse, everything. Power Flinch, everything. <gasps> Woo! That didn't even, that wasn't even a critical hit. Took it out, no problem. If that rain was gone, maybe I could think about fucking with Mega Venusaur. Oh, Lucifer. Lucifer, Lucifer, Lucifer. Um, let's see, he's probably not specially defensive, so let's go for another Dark Pulse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking crazy. What? Oh, man, I was about to get happy. 
damn it. <laughs> Lucifer, you came through for me though. You did your job, Lucifer. You did it. You, you did well, Lucifer. I'll give you that, man. That was, that was cool. But at this point now, I'm ready to accept my medicine, man. Superior ain't gonna be able to stay in on this. It's gonna die to the entry houses, most likely. Yeah, the rocks and the spikes? Oh yeah, it's over. Damn it. I was playing a little too safe, man. Maybe I should have been going for the leaf storms when I was in on the polytoad. Because the polytoad was walling my shit. He was walling me so well, man. Damn it. Oh well. At least my fur pro looks nice. Damn, man. I should have been playing more risky. With a team like that, you gotta make risk. You gotta make risk. You don't have room to play safe in some scenarios, man. That's just the that's just facts. The earthquake. Yeah, at least I'll be able to take this problem, no problem. But damn it. The rain finally fucking stopped. <laughs> oh man. Although the rain. I don't think the rain itself was much of a hindrance to me. Actually, no, it was a hindrance. It was powering up those hits from the qu from the polytope. Maybe I should put some special attack investment in my superior. Maybe I should. I'm thinking about it because if I had, I would have been able to KO that polytope. But I don't have any special attack investment whatsoever in my superior. So because of that, because of that, that's why I didn't go for the leaf storm on the polytope at first. I had a perfect opportunity. He stayed in and everything. Fuck it, baby doll eyes, this bitch. Although, I pretty much lost the game at this point. I don't know why I'm still going with it, but I mean... Yeah, I just, I just want to make it work, work for your KOs, bitch. Oh, now you're gonna stall it out? Come on, man. Alright, I already... At this point, Furfro is the only one left. He's got a couple Pokemon left. His Dragonite, his Ferrothorn, his Mega Venusaur, and his Quaxar. Yeah, I'm... This is pretty much a wrap, so I guess I'll just run here. That was good, though. That, that was a crazy game, man. I was trying. I was trying, baby. I was trying. Yeah, I forfeit the match right now. Yeah. Damn, man. I had to play, you know, I had a chance there. I should have realized that Politoed was pretty much the biggest hindrance to my team. Because that rain, the extra damage from it, I'll definitely save that battle video. That was a damn good game, man. Whew. How intense was that shit? Man, oh, man. Whew. It was a good game. Damn good game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll be trying to do some more live narrations like that in the future. But um, give me some time as I try to get used to this shit a little bit better. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.